Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69, welcome back to the channel. Now with this update come two tanks that got upgraded uh, in a way and I, I really believe now that these tanks are so sexy. Uh, one of them is the uh, the IS-7. Now the IS-7 hasn't always been my, my favourite tank in the game, but now honestly I think it's one of the sexiest tanks. I think it's the best looking tank in the game. Well, I think Wargaming did a fantastic job with this tank. They've upgraded the obviously the, the quality of the tank and they have upgraded the, the quality of the uh, the legendary camouflage as well. And honestly, I just think this tank looks like an absolute beast. Hopefully, Wargaming will do this uh, for further tanks, for further uh, legendary camouflages. And not just uh, not just these uh, these tanks that they've done in this update. Uh, so IS-7 is I've always said, uh, and Angao has always said, don't buy the IS-7. Uh, but you know what? In the right situation, the IS-7 is actually a really strong tank. But it's just for me, it's got a lot of weak points, a very, a quite a lot of weak points, and that's because of the Pike nose. Uh, Wargaming, I think, did they buff the uh, the, uh, the 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 lower plate? I think it was rumoured, I didn't actually see if they had buffed it or not, but if they have buffed the lower plate on this tank, then this tank would actually be a good tank, like a really good tank. Uh, so hopefully, um, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below. I haven't been keeping up with the, the news lately, so I actually have no idea if it was uh, a rumour or if it actually happened. So did it actually happen? Have they buffed the, uh, the lower plate on this thing? Because if they have, then the don't buy IS-7 will become buy IS-7. Uh, it will make a big difference, a massive difference, because as we know, the pike nose, uh, when you're looking directly at a tank, the pike nose is actually very, very strong. However, the bottom plate is quite weak. Uh, as soon as you start to angle, that's when the pike noses become uh, a lot weaker. So if you're aiming, looking directly at a tank, then really the only thing that they can the penetrate is the the bottom plate. So hopefully, if that is been, that has been buffed, then it will be a fantastic tank. Other than that, like the armor all around it, you see the shot earlier I had on the IS-7 that was crossing. Most of the time, you shoot an IS-7 uh, and things like an IS-8 from on the side. Uh, it's got the spaced armor or it's got uh, troll armor and you get a lot of bounces I think you get more bounces people shooting you on the on the side than you do anywhere else on the tank uh, But I do think Wargaming have done a fantastic job with this tank. I think it looks beautiful uh, Hopefully more tanks to to come so we're just going to finish off this battle here before we move on to the next tank So uh, we've done an okay job. Uh, we've got a kill. We've got 2.8k damage and we are winning on supremacy points and it's a four versus two at the moment uh, with an is7 and you're going to see the armor profile here like when you're angled you can see that the pike nose becomes weak but as soon as they start aiming or looking at you it does become a lot lot stronger um, to be honest it does look more red the is7 does look more red but that might just be because of the the armor profile update and now there is just uh, this uh, Tom Hanks pistol left in the E100. So we're going to shoot him and we're almost at 4k damage now. So, you know, it can do the job. It really can. The IS-7 can always do the job. Uh, I'm not ever saying it's like a bad tank. Uh, the meme with, I don't know where this shot goes. I don't know if it's a ghost shell or if it actually goes under him. Uh, but yeah, that was that shot there was actually very, very unlucky. So the don't buy IS-7 meme that Angel sort of created was more because it's one of the easiest tanks in the game to Amarak and it is it, it does get Amarak quite a lot so first up I mean we didn't make any credits we finished on 4k damage just about and uh, not too shabby at all so that then brings us on to the second tank that got uh, pimped out pimped out and that is the e100 and look how just lovely this e100 is now with all the upgrade the, all the scratches that it's got i just think these tanks now wargaming have done a brilliant job with both tanks the e100 and the is7 uh, they both look beasts and that's what i like about especially tanks like the e100 the e100 is a beast it really is a beast uh, and now it looks like it it looks the part and it just looks 
absolutely fantastic now i have always said and i'll always say that the e100 is a noob man's tank it is a noob tank not because the tank is bad because it is a difficult tank to play because of here it has so many weak points in it in it and it takes a lot of skill to be able to drive the e100 properly and effectively so not anyone can go out and just get an e100 it is one of the most played tanks in the game uh, if you see my my video the other day it is very, very popular, and a lot of that is mainly because it has a big gun, uh, but mostly it's popular because people like to get the Tiger, uh, the Tiger II, and of course the E75 is just an absolute beast as well. So a lot of people do play these tanks, but with the E100, most people just don't play it right. Now, this game here, I do actually make a mistake in coming down. Uh, I thought, you know, the team... I didn't think that there were going to be so many uh, red team here. I thought they was all going to go the other way. Um, so I should have gone actually left with my guys here. But, you know, I'm sitting under here. I'm trying to get these shots off. And the reason I'm not really moving from here, because if you look at the minimap, it is literally just me and three TDs left. Um, and all these three TDs are there. So what I want to do, my aim is to just drag these guys out for our TDs just to, uh, just to tear them apart pretty much and this SU just goes full guns blazing and we're going to get a shot off and he is going to get killed from the FV4005. So now this side of the map I know there's a grill and there's these uh, two yo's and there goes the Conway so it's actually a three versus six at the moment uh, but I'm thinking you know what if I take these three tanks out here then it could be it could easily be a win but I am getting shot from behind uh, so I just want to back up so I'm not taking any shots whilst I'm on a reload and I'm still hoping that these guys just come out so my TDs can take them out. So we're just going to go and you can see that the TDs are doing their job. So we're just going to go forward and again you can see it there. We're going to get one shot and again we are going to back up and hopefully our TDs do the rest. But now there goes the T30 so it is just me and an FV4005 who is losing his hit points. So at this point I need to take these guys out. I've seen that the Yo there has taken his shot i don't know if he's uh, reloading yet but we are going to go and we are going to take him out for our second kill and now it is just me versus four tanks we're on 3k damage and this is where you need to angle kind of like that so don't ever look directly at a tank because it will be easy for them to penetrate your cheek uh, your cheeks so always angle when you're angling your lower plate always angle your turret as well and that, that way the cheeks in between like each side of the gun does become a lot more difficult to pen because your lower plate is very, very weak. Um, so you need to try and angle your lower plate so it becomes thick, uh, the armor becomes thicker, but also the, the turret because there's just too many weak points of that turret. And that's why it is a very difficult tank to play, very difficult. You can see here this WZ120, he is penetrating at us no problem whatsoever. Uh, but at this point it's just too much uh, uh, too little too late and we are going to get one more shot into this wz120 and you can just see me trying to angle there uh, but it's uh, pretty much game over but uh, we are, we put up a good fight but we're not here for the battles we are here for the sexy looking tanks so props for to wargaming for for making these tanks look absolutely beautiful i do think that they've done a brilliant job let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you think of these tanks now do they look good and what tanks would you like to see upgraded like this next with their the legendary uh, legendary camouflage so i hope you guys enjoy the video i'm meaty 69 if you want to support the channel become a patreon uh, i need more patrons i've lost quite a few over the last few months but you know any support is welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Midzi. Catch you soon.